Okay, this is the reading for Aries Masculine for December of 2017 running into March of 2018, kind of the uh, winter season. So this is our winter in Canada anyway, so I'm just going to get into it here. Basically going to try and reveal some of your blocks and uh, see if you're on the right path here intuitively, instinctively with the universal energy. Uh, the first card is wisdom. So we are coming from a sense of wisdom, these Aries men. They used to be coming from that mischievous place, could get them into trouble. So this is an advancement. <laughs> so that's good. There's been a shift here over the, the last while of, of energy. So that's good. Wisdom, good. The next card I get is anger and rage. Now, when I first brought this out, it was uh, upside down. And I, I kind of took note of that. The anger and rage, we may be trying to get a hold of that. Uh, I know that I, I did a reading a while back for the Aries masculine and their energy was, um, you know, they were coming across a bunch of roadblocks here where they used to be paved road, right? But it seems like the anger is right in the center here. So we still have a build of that. We still have a time where we're going to be dealing with our anger issues. But I feel like they're really trying their best to get on top of it. Now, the next card I get um, is the flow card. <laughs> so the flow card is really that universal energy, the instincts that you need to do things a certain way. So it's there. It's often off center a little bit, but it's it's influencing you and you're starting to see that starting to I feel like a three way, like you're taking things the old way, the new way. And how am I going to do this? And so you're trying to uh, manifest that, make that happen and go forward in a good way. So as we move up, the next card I get is protection. So if we have this, we have wisdom and protection and anger in a trine. The anger is off center. So every time I see the protection symbol uh, or card here, it makes me wonder what you're doing that you need protection from. And Aries males are kind of um, famous for getting into a situation where, uh, you know, someone could be wanting to um, retaliate against you. So that would be why the protection card's here. Now, I'm going to carry on. And the opposite of uh, protection is organization. So I feel like this is the key to um, no conflict and lack of, of of anger, reducing the anger is to be organized, if not in the mind, in the emotions and how you outwardly deal with that. I feel like you have to take your your struggles inward instead of outward. And that's really what's going on here. I think these males are really going outward with all that rage and they need to kind of go inward, deal with it, look at it and organize it and see where it's coming from and, you know, break it down. That's really what it is. It's just uh, these guys are acting like Neanderthals and going out and bashing stuff up. And that's really not, there's no cause for that here. We need to kind of look at things differently than we have been. So the outcome card is guidance. So we are being guided. We have the flow. It's coming. And it's just that struggle. And I feel like it's a 50-50 split here. I feel like Happy is feeling like, well, I've done this before. So I really don't know exactly where you're going to head here. But I feel like what's going on is, is you're in the process of figuring out what you need to do. And you're also looking at your intuition and, and, and gaining some, not gaining wisdom. You've got the wisdom. You're looking at it now. You're assessing it. You're trying to understand where it fits amongst all of this. So you're just really trying to put the puzzle pieces in place and see what the bigger picture is. Now I'm going to draw uh, three tarot cards to kind of see what the situation is over the season, what can be highlighted here. And the first card I get is justice. Now it's interesting because <laughs> I feel like if anything, you have been the king of imbalance. You have created chaos where there was no chaos. And I feel like you're starting to think about why 
or how you've done that. So I feel like the justice here has to do with really figuring out how much chaos you do cause on your own. I feel uh, there was a misjudgment uh, in the past. You kind of thought, oh, we're just having fun or, you know, just this is the way things are. And you're starting to see it in a more um, grounded way, how you're affecting others, right? And the balance of that. And is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I get a kick out of it, but are they getting a kick out of it? So you're starting to see that that's imbalanced. So the justice is bringing that out. The next card I get is the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is all about that action and forward movement and really about the creation of things that we can implement forward, right? It's the first card. And even though uh, sometimes I can get an energy that this person's moving forward, I feel it is for the Aries male, really that thought process, those jewels of thought and wisdom that come to them that they're going to, you know, move forward in action with. So I feel like um, they not only uh, have that action oriented way about them, but they're going to do it in a justified way, a balanced way that they're not going to be hurting uh, people as much as they have overlooked in the past, if I can put it that way. Now we end up at the magician. So that's really the card where we know not only do we have the tools and not only are we prepared and ready for action, but we're going to do it and we're going to make it happen. So they're very much in charge of their movement forward. They're very much in the energy of action got all the tools they need and they're just going to go forward. So whatever it is that's brewing here, they're going to take their, their action and they're going to move forward from that with great confidence, skill, and all the tools they need. So they're really feeling their own sense of power through this. And I feel not only uh, in a way that they have it before. I'm getting a sense here for these males that they really haven't taken a uh, chart like this before. They haven't looked at their life in the way that they're looking at it in the current situation. So they're suddenly they're coming around and they're going, you know what? I didn't realize this, didn't realize that. Seeing things from, you know, a higher perspective, from a bigger sense of others. You know, not being so selfish about things is really what it is. Um, coming outside of that selfish circle. And they're realizing that that didn't really serve them anyway. Things that they were gaining through the selfish means really wasn't making them happy anyway. So now they realize something else is going to happen. They're going to take action on that. And that's really the way that it's going to go. Now, <laughs> I also pull a fortune card and a surrender card. Now, the surrender card is usually about things needing to let go of. And then the fortune card hopefully is a good card. Um, if it's not, it's really uh, accentuating the block that you may have to get rid of. So the surrender card here is uh, surrender your belief in scarcity. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So that's that selfishness, right? I got to take because if I don't, uh, somebody else is going to take it and there's not enough to go around. I got to get the last loaf of uh, last piece of bread because there ain't no other loaf. That's kind of the and that's that greed. And uh, these are things that can very much sit on the other other shoulder, right? The angel and the devil saying, you know, there's not enough. I got to take I got to take and get, you know, from this one because there's there's not enough to go around. So that is something you need to let go. You need to let go that that um, that need for competition, I think, is really the, the key here. We just really need to compete within our own selves, within our own path, not with others. And that's what I think the universe is trying to get across. You get rid of that and you're you're flying, you're you're free falling here in a good way. And the next card that I have is the fortune card. Now, what you got was judgment. Judgment. It says soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. And I feel like to a certain degree, these areas, males are really doing this on their own. Like I said, um, 
some of this energy, males, period, I'm finding when I split the energies, the males are just naturally going with the flow. They're integrating it. And whether they are realizing it or not, I think for the most part, they are not. Otherwise, they would maybe challenge it a bit more or go against the grain a little bit if they felt like they're being told what to do. But it's an intuitive, it's an internal process, and they're really digesting it the way that it's meant to be digested. I think when women... If we have the feminines, they're kind of looking at things and, you know, overanalyzing or uh, picking things apart too much. The male is just taking the energy in, absorbing it. And then, um, like I said, not even aware maybe that he's absorbing that energy, but nonetheless acting from it and utilizing it in the way that he needs to. So he's got some wisdom in the corner and he's also got the flow in the other corner. So if we merge that together with organized fashion, <laughs> We will have no need for protection, right? Or anger. We need to get rid of that. We cannot get rid of that, I don't feel. But we can absolutely use the guidance to temper it. Justice and judgment. So there, you may actually be in a legal proceeding where there may be a judgment here. And um, I feel like you are, in your mind, uh, favoring an outcome. Uh, and that outcome, I feel is something that you can attain but you got to watch your anger and you got to watch the way that you deal with others and in in the process uh so somebody in a legal situation here that something is is playing out and it really has to do with your manifesting abilities if you're not on top of it you're going to learn a lesson here so be careful that outcome doesn't create more anger than it's worth and if it does you really have to you know, that may be the lesson in itself is to deal with that anger, but also work within the realm of there is enough for everybody so I can have my cake and I can eat it too. You know, that kind of thing. I think we just have to be aware that that um, gimme, gimme, gimme attitude is just not going to get us anywhere. So for the male Aries for December of 2017 into uh, January, February, March of 2018. That is, their, yeah, that is your reading, your spiritual reading. Yeah, I'll say I've taken an opportunity to say Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates. And hopefully you have a good winter season. So take care, Aries, males. Have fun and be kind.